what's going on everyone welcome back to cruising the south and if you're new to the channel a big welcome here at cruising the south we share with you guys all the awesome places we go with the boat but also all the services problems and solutions we come across right so today's video it's a short video but i wanted to share you guys my dilemma with uh, my bilge pumps i had two sets of bilge pumps fail at the same time and uh, when i mean two is because i have three actually sets of uh, independent uh, bilge pumps right one is all the way on the back and it's like with a float and a bilge and then i have a emergency set that it's like a step higher so in case like that one fails the second one the emergency one will, will uh, go on and even if the emergency one goes uh doesn't uh, stop working if it does stop working the water would travel on a little channel between the engines and go to the third set of a uh, bilge pumps right here but the reason I wanted to make the video is because, uh, you know, it can get a little tricky sometimes. Per se, both sets have three wires going to them, right? But one of them I have a switch for, which is a bilge pump. I can turn, uh, turn on uh, through this switch. But the emergency set, I cannot turn on with the switch. That one is just a bilge with a constant 12 volts to the float. And uh, it only goes on with the float activation, right? I do not have a switch for it. So even though I have a switch to that one, there's, there's still only three wires going to each one of them. So one of the wires does something different on each set, right? So let's start with the one that's on all the way on the back, the one that I do have a switch for. So let's say if it stops working, your best way to figure it out what's going on is like to get one of these guys, right? A voltmeter. If you don't have one of these, you need to get one of these. This is like crucial tool to have on a boat at all times. So let's say you would, uh, of course, ground these somewhere, probably to a fuse box or something. And then you're gonna, uh, behind that switch is just an on and off switch. So it's gonna have two ports. One is a constant 12 volts. It should always have 12 volts there. And the other one, it has 12 volts when the switch is clicked on, right? So you will check there first. If you, you turn on the switch, if you have uh, power on both of those ends, that means that the power is going at least right and um, so but you know uh, one of the pins have a 12 volt constant the other pin should have two wires leaving it okay so one wire it would be the wire that's going to power the bilge pump the other wire goes to the light that lets you know that uh, the, the bilge pump is running right look if I turn the bilge pump on see a light goes on if you don't have a light, something that lets you know that the bilges are running, you really do want to have something like over here, you know, because if those bilges are running, you want to know that they are running. So either one of the bilges go on, I would know over here, but, you know, I have uh, the after bilge pump and then the emergency bilge pump right here. So that's what's gonna make the difference between the three wires that's going to the uh, bilge pumps over there, right? Because uh, see, that's what I, I thought that it could get tricky for some people because uh, this switch, like I said, only turns on the back bilge pump, right? So let's say, you know, one of the wires, one out of the three wires going to that bilge pump, one's gonna be ground. That goes straight to the bilge pump, okay? Like it's straight to the black. Where is it, my bilge pump here? So the one of them is gonna be a ground, which is probably the black, it goes straight to the bilge. The other wire, it would be a constant 12 volts that would go to the float, okay? Because the float has two wires, one is the power coming in, the the um, the one wire it doesn't really matter you can vice versa the, you know because they're both black wires the float is really just a switch right so one of the wires is gonna have a constant 12 volts to it and the other wire goes straight it goes to the bilge pump and that act, is activated by the float right now the third wire would be uh you know in this case the tw another 12 volts coming into the pump that it's the 12 volts from the switch right so one is ground the other one's a constant 12 volts to the float and the other one is uh, 12 volts from the switch that ties into your positive on the pump okay so that's your three wires right there now these the emergency bilge does not have a switch to it but it still have three wires and that is because uh, you know the the main bilge the it feeds the light through here right for the end port of the the, the exit port of the switch that uh, there's two wires coming out one is going to the bilge the other one is going to the light 
now this one the third wire is really just the one wire coming back to turn on the light over here so you, you know the three wires one is your ground goes straight to the pump the other one's a constant 12 volts that goes to the float and it should always be 12 volts there and the other wire is really just the wire coming back to feed that light you know because you don't have a switch also powering powering it so that's the difference right there you know even though they have three wires the ones that does have a switch you know the it lights up the light through the switch here so the other one doesn't have a switch so you got to bring a light uh, a wire back to let know you know to let that light know that it's running but uh you know so like to get that problem fixed all i had to do was go behind the switch check it you know and i had 12 volts there fine i turned it on you know like uh and i could even tell it from here you know but i still went back there and making sure that both wires were okay you know because one's the light one goes to the bilge and then um my next spot that i checked was uh the ones uh, both sides of the float right because one side of the float should always have 12 volts and then you know for you to find out if the floats working you just activate the float because mine's a, a square type of float so the wires going into the float you can actually just like uh, spin that connection and the float is in there you know and then the other one is uh you know just like uh the other float is just like a um i don't know a paddle looking float is just two wires to the same thing you know so with the float activated you should have 12 volts on both sides right if with full float not activated just one side so i had 12 volts on the float and then with the switch on i had the power all the way to the bilge pump too and so the float and the bilge pump had power through both independent wires right so from that point on you would you know you know that it is the bilge pump itself right so i just bought a new one we're gonna slap it in there and uh so both of them stopped working at the same time but the, the first one was my float because i checked the power all the way to the float itself and it was 12 volts before the float but i tried to activate the float and nothing happened you know the line past the float didn't have 12 volts so i know that the first one was the float that was bad the second one i had 12 volts all the way to the pump so therefore you know in this case it would be the pump itself you know because like if you test all the way to here and there's 12 volts on this brown wire you know as, unless if it's a connection right here which of course you would be checking that it would be the pump right otherwise you find the brake somewhere else you know like um 12 volts would be missing either from there or from the front of the float all, all the way to the pump so as soon as you find where it doesn't have 12 volts that it's supposed to have there is your problem so all right guys i just wanted to share these with you guys i thought it was pretty interesting you know like um, not all wires is the same wires you know things change so uh i appreciate you guys watching thank you so much for the love guys and i see you guys in the very next episode thank you bye bye